people I don't think so. wanted an outcome. That's They're making what some that point about I'm not Barr. saying they did, but that's put, what some people are going to believe. Put up the piece of the piece, just so we can get the context right. Some of, remember, this is what they were hearing from people who know what these investigators are saying. There's a few levels deep. I'm not questioning the accuracy. I'm just saying the context. Barr failed to adequately portray the findings of their inquiry, and they were more troubling for President Trump than Mr. Barr indicated. That's not about narrative. That's not about shaping. It's about how Barr shaped what's going on. And Angela, I think it takes us to the same place. My concern about the Ways and Means chair going after the taxes is when you want something, it raises a level of expectation. Here with this uh, report, it's the same thing. When you, in reverse, when you hide something, right. it creates a level of expectation. I don't get if the president wants closure, clarity brings closure, let it come out. He says he was exonerated. Well, and, and that's just it. He says he was exonerated, but Chris, we know he says a lot of things. And in, in fact, it's to the tune of 9,400 things that are not true, or as this very administration coined the term alternative facts. So what we should be hoping for is not a redacted report, but a full on report so that the American people can judge for themselves what's in it. I do not want to rely on Attorney General Barr's interpretation because we already know that he's been bought and sold at a price. It was clear before he was even nominated that that was going to be the case. It is true. Bought and sold? That, that, and is, sold an, that, is, an, that is an outrageous allegation. Uh, well, you know what's more sold? outrageous? Are you suggesting you know corruption what's more or bribery? Outrageous? This man was you know confirmed what's in a bipartisan vote. That's an outrageous thing I told Chris I was going to do this and tonight. Sold? You go for it. Well, hold on. What you said was very provocative, that he's bought and sold. Bought so and I, sold so, at a price, so meaning that he's Scott, another yes man in that same well, but cabinet right, But it sounds like you're not... saying there was corruption, and that's why I let Scott push back <laughs> on you about it, because we have no belief of I'm that. I'm not, but... I'm not, I'm sorry, that is a colloquial term. All right, fine. I'm saying Good that this man is a yes man, yet another for this particular president. He might not be bought and sold at a price, but there are a number of players around Donald Trump who are corrupt. It's clear they've been indicted, some of them convicted. So let's just be very clear about what is around him, what is surrounding him, and why suspicion is so high. Right. Period. I'm glad you qualified it. Scott, you're right to push back on that. You both had a good debate. You make it better for my audience. I love you both. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have <laughs> more